Good morning. God bless us all. And I hope you're having a and I hope you have a nice day. Now let's just like and subscribe. Black pe black people, let me get straight to the point. Wear your hair and your skin with pride. It is what makes us different than Caucasians. And what makes us different is what makes us superior. Hair laying flat on your skull is not superior to hair that reaches for the sun and reaches for the heavens. Understand this, the story of Samson is applicable to all of us. The story of Samson is applicable to all of us. He had dreads. Those were dreads that were cut off. <clears throat> Wear your dreads. Wear your afros. Wear your hair naturally. The product in your hair weakens your hair. Don't do anything to weaken your hair. Don't do anything to weaken your skin. We all know melanin in your skin makes you superior to people whose skin is non-melanated. I hear a lot about this shaving your pubic hair. Do not shave your pubic hair or any hair. It God put it there for a reason. <clears throat> I have heard that if you have hair down there, you should shave it for sanitary reasons. No. No. You wash your hair for sanitary reasons. People who do not take baths and we know who they are, yes, they have a problem down there because they do not bathe. They don't bathe. They say that the water that let the water run down off your hair, off, off your body, and that cleanses you. If you wash your hair, you if you wash the hair on the top of your head, you don't have to wash the rest of the hair on your body because it's because it is the soap runs down off of you. Yeah, the soap runs down off of you and it runs on top of the dirt and leaves the dirt there. Wash it. Wash your hair and you don't have to worry about any diseases or, or, or germs down there. We wore, we did, we understand something. The Black Plague was in England. It was not in Africa. And it was because they didn't bathe. Not us. That's their thing. All over Europe, they wore, they walked around in silk clothes and silk this and silk that and didn't bathe and covered it up with perfume. <clears throat> Do not imitate those who are inferior to you because it causes you to become inferior. I I don't wear a hat in the summertime. I let the sun hit my skin. I'm not going to get melanoma. I have melanin in my skin, so I'm not going to get melanoma, which is skin cancer. I guess melanoma means an absence of an absence of melanin in your skin. I don't know why they even call skin cancer melanoma cuz melanin protects you from it. The story of Samson it's applicable to all black people. Don't just think when Samson, see, there's a message in there. Pay attention to what you read in the Bible. See, a lot of people, you read in the Bible that Jesus was black, but you still put pictures up of a white Jesus. And see, you, you read in the Bible that Samson cut his hair and that weakened him, but you don't understand how that applies to you also. You have to take some things in the Bible you take literally. Hair, our hair, our skin makes us superior. Let me tell you something else. Do you see more black cars on the streets or do you see more white cars on the streets? 
do people have more black clothes or do they have more white clothes? When we say black and white, we say black first. We don't say white and black. We say black and white. There's a reason and a message in all of this. To reiterate, hair does not cause you to get germs or infections. You wash your hair the same way you wash your skin and take pride. Men, if you're starting to go bald on the top, then wear your hair on the side. Wear it neatly on the side. All this cutting off your pubic hair is stupid. That allows bugs and stuff to get in there and live. Wash your hair. Wash it. Wash it. Never mind all this stuff about. And why? And wear your hair. Don't be ridiculous. Wear it. And wash it. If God gave it to you, he gave it to you for a reason. With that, like and subscribe. Talk to you later.